Grandpa Newby reporting for duty, and say hello to my little friend, the ISO Hemlock. ISO Hemlock? No, man. You so Hemlock. Okay, that's an old joke. Let's take a look at the configuration we're going to use. We're starting with the Moore's dot site, which does nothing good or bad except providing us the Moore's dot site. The Res 52 stock helps with the sprint speed, which is a little on the slow side, and the ADS movement speed, which is 3.3 meters per second. So it's not all that bad. The Socken Grip, which helps with recoil, horizontal, and vertical. We're going to use the 45 round magazine because I plan on taking this into free for all. You can see that it hurts with the reload quickness and empty reload quickness, but it still isn't all that bad. And then it hurts the other items up top in handling and mobility in a very minor way, in my opinion. And the Edge, XRK Edge BW4 handstop. That makes up for some of the hurt on that last attachment. Hip fire spread is affected, which is still good at 2.8 degrees per second, as is tactical stance spread, but sprint to fire speed down to 200 milliseconds. ADS speed, a relatively slow 270 milliseconds. So let's take the ISO or USO hemlock onto the field of honor and see how it does. All right, we have reservations at the Hotel Breenberg, but first there's the overall config again. Screenshot if you like it. You want to try it out. If you take a look, red is bad for the hemlock compared to the MCW. Green is good. If it's highlighted, it's either significantly worse than or significantly better than. The fire rate's better for the MCW, but look at that headshot damage. 50. 43 for the upper and lower torso. That is significant. The rest of it's pretty close. Damage ranges, target flinch, a little bit better for the ISO, it packs a little heavier punch. And if we look at the kill metrics, it translates there. A three to five shot kill, three in the head, four everywhere else, one shot less than the MCW, reflects on the time to kill. The MCW is only better if all the shots go into the upper legs. So brain bag is a run and gun kind of map especially in free-for-all. The hemlock was poison. <laughs> to play on the metaphor there, in Breenberg, it packed a heavy punch. It was nimble. And I'm glad I loaded the extra rounds. If you look at recoil and performance, MCW is slightly better in recoil for gun kick and horizontal recoil, fairly significantly better, but... Vertical recoil, surprisingly enough, the ISO as configured has it beaten. The rest of it is pretty much, in my opinion, give or take, not significant enough to discuss. So you have a weapon that has some significant advantages over the stock MCW. And if it plays to your play style, it may be an excellent choice. Okay, there's a remote turret, and we all know Grandpa usually buys the farm a few times when he's putting it out. But let's uh, see. Oh, there's a nice spot to decorate the hotel. Let's put out some hardware and some inviting proximity mines. All right, this guy here, he's not a hotel guest. We're responsible for getting him out of the hallway. There's the turret doing some work. Really, I had no issue slip sliding away with it. And I remember the Hemlock being one of my weapons of choice in Modern Warfare 2. I thought it was overpowered a bit. It has maintained that power, in my opinion, in the 150 health world of Modern Warfare 3. And any weapon that will allow you to build angles in free-for-all is a good one. I guess you can say just about any weapon can do that. But not really. I've played with a few where it's difficult to get around the map. And if you run into somebody you haven't built an angle on, you may or may not win the engagement. But if you get the first round in with the hemlock, it's 100%. Unless, well, unless the guy quickscopes you or has a shoddy or something like that. Even then, with the flinch you're dealing, 
you have a good chance of winning the engagement. Engage, engagements due to the recoil not being bad, better than the MCW in terms of vertical, at distance were easy. Of course, there's not a lot of distance here. We've built up quite a lead. I will probably buy the farm several times in order to bring the opponents back in. There's one at distance over a head glitch, and it just shot straight as an arrow while I was strafing. This guy here, not allowed to sit on the floor in corners in a fine hotel. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I get gacked going out the door for dinner. I just wanted to go have some dinner. But you can see how nimble the hemlock is. And don't forget, it deals a 50 damage. And in the 40s for the upper and lower torso. Keep it this way. Okay, we won that. It's not a Snickers win. We never got to... 30 kills. Kind of disappointing. I know you're disappointed in Grandpa, but I will bear that burden and endeavor to persevere and do a better job for you, my friends on YouTube. Oh, whoa, 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 what's going on here? So if, <laughs> if Breen Bag is an in your face map, the dome is twice, twice as in your face. And I was a little concerned that maybe the hemlock wouldn't perform well on this map. But it does. It does perform quite well. There's another remote turret. Time to get gacked for using it. On a nice streak here. It's always nice to be on a stroke. Okay, forget what I said on a nice streak. There we go. We got to get gacked putting out a turret. But the turret usually handles... The recalcitrant individual that is so rude. Got to put out some hardware here. Somebody put out a smoke for me, which I think is very, very kind of them. Probably one of the subs on YouTube. And I appreciate that if it was you. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm shooting the hay bales. I'm supposed to be shooting the guy. And I buy the farm. So we've got a slight lead here. Again, you see it goes over the de facto head glitch there. Just straight as an arrow, especially when you're strafing it. Just, you can maintain the recoil. And the side-to-side -side recoil, really, when you're strafing, I find the side-to-side -side recoil just doesn't really matter that much. Slight lead still. There, I went for the head. When I had the chance up close, go for the gourd. There's something I, I put out, killed somebody. Okay, I started low, ended up high, and I bought the farm because of it. If I'd have hid the weapon up, I hear what you're saying. Then that would have been my kill because it would have been going up high. Guy's looking for his corner, and he gacks me from the corner. But I will go back and look for him. I always do. Got them both. Those guys were playing together. I didn't think you were supposed to do that in free-for-all, but did you notice that that guy just kind of set up right beside the other one in the corner? That wasn't the only time they did that. So just one more kill to go. Got a decent lead here. Oh, there he is. A Snickers win, 30 kills. It's so satisfying. My overall thoughts on the ISO Hemlock it's a good weapon. It, it is deserving of a permanent class. Anyway, it has one for me. Please like and subscribe. Helps me. Helps the family. Cheers and peace.